Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you a cut from my new online course Python for VFX and Animation in Maya. This one is part of the introduction where we explore how scripting and Python are and will become essential for our work. At the beginning, at any new experience, it is important that we raise one question. And the question is, why? Why do we want to learn scripting? First, I will give you a professional answer and in the assignment, I will encourage you to find a personal one too. We are in the 21st century, working in visual effects and animation. A lot has changed. How we work, how much we know, how we get information and how much is expected. Being a specialist while working in a team became a crucial dynamic and so did scripting. Let's have a look at the pyramid of how I see the modern artist building blocks. The most important thing of any professional job is skill. Skill is the difference between you and any client. The client expects you to do something he cannot do and he pays you for that basically. So for example, in our field, it could be 3D, it could be painting, it could be design or something similar. So if the client is not able to do that, so he asks you to do that. Of course, he can pick it up theoretically, but he doesn't. What it also doesn't mean is that you don't have to be good at something. It only means that you can do something someone else can't, which means you can be good, you can't, it doesn't matter. The second one is a two-sided one. It's branding. Branding on one side means someone knows you. And on the second side means someone knows you for a specific skill. So for example, in my case, I'm a technical director and people combine that with me. People know me from LinkedIn, YouTube, from my podcast and stuff like that. And they can combine me and my technical directing skills and see me as a complete package. So after all the skills, which someone doesn't have, People know you, so you can get hired as a freelancer or a free worker. Now you're in a project. And since now everything is kind of team-based, since we have more specialists than ever before, you now have to have all the team skills. It's basically soft skills, which also means you have to be able to communicate in a positive way, in an informative way, and be able to do a job with multiple people at the same time working on the same goal. So with this free skills set up, you are able to work at any job, doesn't matter, because you can do the job, you get hired to do the job, and you can work with other people to make it successful regarding the goals. One of the biggest difference, which is coming more and more besides teamwork getting very important, is the last part, and it's scripting. Scripting basically counters the demand that changes through the years. So since like visual effects industry and the animation industry becoming popular and is part of commercials and our typical movie view, it is also becomes very demanding. So the demand of how much VFX and CG is part of like any movie and any commercial compared to how much visual effect shots there are 10 years ago. Which also means that the demand to any company is getting bigger and bigger, while there's not enough artists to counterbalance that. This means in the product that every artist gets more demand of how much he has to produce in a daily basis. On one side, you're getting faster because also the computer power gets faster, the software gets better, there are more plugins and so on. But on the other side, you cannot cope with the exploding demand of the industry. So the only way you could do that is through batching. That means like you do the work and only focus on the like thinking parts, on the creative parts, on the technical parts, but you don't focus on repetition. And one way of not focusing on repetition is learning scripting. So for example, if you learn to script, you can set up templates in your Maya scenes, in your Nuke scenes, which you can reuse again and again, which just changes the input and output variables, but you change the content and itself. So you can focus like 90% of the time of being creative, of being technical, but you will not focus on all the pipeline aspects, all the input and output aspects, which means also Let's say you create a template for your Maya script or your Nuke script. 
this template I can apply for the next 10 shots or the next 10 assets. So I have a general setup for them. This means you create a script and run it through. And instead of like opening all the 10 shots and setting things up, changing references, setting inputs and outputs, the script already takes the master scene and applies that to all the future shots and assets. So the only thing you have is basically have a look, looks fine, and so on and so forth. Of course, this doesn't apply for individual tasks, but it can apply and can free up your time to look into the all the demanding parts you will have to do. One of the biggest reasons for this specialized course is that Python is a huge field in itself. But the exact overlap between what you as an artist really need is significantly smaller. Which is good for us since we only need to learn a fragment of what Python really is to use it successfully in our daily or future jobs. This is also what we will focus during this course of only to teach topics and parts that are relevant to our needs and here and there now like open doors for future development and to learn how to help ourselves if we get stuck. So let's start your Python journey now. You can find the link in the description if you'd like to sign up for the full course at cgmasteracademy.com. See you on the next video.